Well, at long last, I think I've got a hammered. This is rank, isn't it? Very. 22, 23. Good morning Mud Monsters and welcome along for another day's digging. Here I am in beautiful Norfolk. I'm questioning it more every time I say it. But nevertheless, I'm out. Um, we're in between gales at the moment. I think there's another one on the way maybe tomorrow. We're on the tail end of Eunice at the moment. And uh, rather than stay home, I thought sod it, I'll come out and uh, maybe just get a few hours swinging, I don't know. Depends if this weather clears or not, but I'm back out at the medieval farm. I've got four fields to play with, all of which have been done in recent memory, but by no means done done, just been around a bit. So fingers crossed um, I'm in for a hammered, at least, maybe two, I would hope. Um, I've got Steve-O joining me later, if he can uh, be bothered to get out of bed, and I wouldn't blame him if he doesn't, because <laughs> it's awful, but there we go. Anyway, enough talking from me, let's get out there and let's get digging. Right, today I'm rocking the 15-inch uh, coil. Oh my word, it's windy. Right, I've got my first something something. Where are you? What have we got here? I think the rain's on its way as well again. I think we've got a little butt on. Yeah, there's a shank under there. Yeah, a couple of bits of lead and, uh, and a button that have dropped. Awesome, well, that's the start. <laughs> <laughs> that I've got today, it can only get better. Oh, why do I do this? Right, whatever I've got, I think is in here. It was coming up a 17, 18, and it was quite consistent to be fair. So, fingers crossed for something half decent. It's painful watching a one handed pinpointing, I get it. Oh, that's Got a disc shape to it? No. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's painful. Oh no, it's a bit of lead, isn't it? Yes, it is. A bit of lead. Well, they always sound great, don't they? But I'll keep saying it. These are sort of, if I'm missing these, then I'm missing hammered coins. There's all kinds left on here. Right. Well, this is definitely a lead something. I think it's too small to be a spindle well, but it is clearly a little lead uh, item with a hole through the middle, so I don't know, maybe a net weight or something? Yeah, it's definitely a relic, had a use I'm sure. This field's just still producing lots and lots of buttons. Yeah, just keep on coming. Uh, it's starting to rain but uh, it's not dampening my spirits. There's gonna be more hammered here. I think we've got the makings of something half interesting here. Seems to be some coloring and writing on there. Quite an odd shape. Right, definitely require a clean up. There we are. This is actually really nice. I'm made up of this because it's a little enameled brooch or pin badge and it's showing uh, Norwich and the sort of shield there with the, the, what do you call it, the shield of arms or whatever, the crest. The Norwich castle there with the lion and you see that all over Norwich. There's not a lot on the back, just a bit of iron corrosion where I assume the brooch pin was. But that is absolutely lovely. I'll have to look it up and find out the age. Beautiful little thing. Well, it started throwing it down, didn't it? So I made a beeline for the car and I'm just sat here eating cookies, contemplating and hoping the rain goes away and I can see blue skies right in front of me. And I think at the rate that the wind is just hossing along, that'll be maybe five minutes, maybe. 
Steve hasn't arrived yet. Wuss. But um, apart from that, it's been a good start, hasn't it? That Norwich badge is quite interesting. I haven't been able to find out the age on it, but um, I would go probably um, probably a good 100 years old, that badge, I reckon. So I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, I'm just killing time. Um, I'm out with the 15-inch Mine Lab coil today rather than the Coil Tech one. Um, just because of the wind um, and, and the weight on the Cortec one, it's such a lovely coil. But um, when you're swinging into wind like that, everything just becomes so much heavier, doesn't it? So, um, yeah, it's interesting actually. It feels so much lighter, even though you've got still that big footprint on the coil. But there we go. Right, well, enough of me just jabbling on about nothing. Um, I'll see you out there, and hopefully, I'll see you on a hammer coin. Can you see the sun? It's just about breaking through. This is quite a moist field. This is the one I finished on um, the last time I was out uh, on, on a big hunt anyway. Just had another button. It was uh, sunbathing to a certain degree. It was half in, half out. Anywho, there's got to be more than buttons here. Oh, I've got something interesting peering out of the muck here. I think it's the shape of a medieval buckle. Yeah, it's sort of a lighter colour. Hmm, right, let's give it a clean up. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, I think that's what we've got. Medieval buckle, the um, clasp or pin, whatever you want to call it there, is um, corroded onto the side there. Would have been a fairly ornate little buckle by the looks of it. Sort of like a barley twist or something there. Great stuff, a bit of medieval, I'll take that. And uh, a fired musket ball. Looks like it's spanked into something, but uh, yeah. Well, musket ball fine as well. I'm in an area of a field I've never, well, I'm in an area of a field I've been on, but I've actually done this area. And uh, as you can see, it's quite gloopy. It's been uh, disced, I think. At some but um, yeah. I've never done this, so I've got no idea what to expect. I might be nuts trying to do a live dig in this wind, but uh, I hope you can hear me all right. And the signal as well. It's 22, 23. It's about a spade depth, I reckon. But it could be a coin. Sounds pretty consistent. The rain's gone away, it's just the wind now. Oh, could be out of the hole, but it's quite a big, bright signal. Right. It's not that, no. Might be a bit of pottery there. No, it's a flint. All right, where are you? Oh, it's still in the hole. Just on the edge here. Oh, I've got a big disc. It's not shining. What have we got here? Ah, oh, it looks like a, a George V. Big George V penny. Yeah, I wasn't expecting you, mate. But again, this is an area of the field I haven't been to, so I guess this is where I'm going to end up picking up the big coins that are sort of cleared out from everywhere else. That's in really nice condition, actually. It'll never look better, I don't think. As you know, they tend to fade a bit after they come out of the ground. That's a lovely one. Right, another round in the ground situation. As you can see there, looking half penny size this time. And it's George again. Hello George, good day to you sir, and in fabulous condition again. Same part of the field. Yeah, it's turning into a little bit of a Georgian area up here. Wow, you really are in good condition. Spanking little coins these two. Right, where's your silver buddies, come on. Or gold. Come on, I've got to find gold this year. Hey, check it out. Sun's come out. Boom. In fact, there's not a cloud in the sky now. 
which is mental. This morning it was just black, wind, rain. The wind's still here, to be fair. Anyhow, um, I'm, I've loaded up on cheese straws and cookies and feeling big in the game. My guest Steve will turn up eventually. He's just messaged me. It's about 1 p.m. I mean, who turns up at 1 p.m. for a day's digging? Jeez. Right, um, I think I'm going to head back to where I was with those Georgie pennies because I've just not done that area before. And although there's not showing signs of anything much older than the Georgians, I still have promise in that area. I just feel like, because I haven't done it, there's hope, isn't there? Could be anything on your next swing. And they made loads of gold sovereigns in that era. Thank you, Mr. Scott Dubai, Dirt Diggers UK. He did point out it's a heavy run of sovereigns in that era. So if I'm going for gold, why not? Well, anyway, I'm going to get out there. Man, that wind is still cold, though. And I'll see you on the next decent find. Last time I did a live dig, ended up in a coin, so um, why not give it another go? We've got a good signal here. 20, pretty much dead. It did come up to 21 when I was scanning before I put the camera on. And as we all know, that's kind of a silver signal. Over to the right here. Alright, I think it's popped out. Have a gander. It's actually getting a bit warmer now. Maybe it's not out. What's this? Oh no! Skunked! Got ourselves a, a tarpaulin ring. Jeez, no wonder that sounded good. Nice and round, just like a coin. Never mind. Button after flipping button at the moment. Oh man, must have had 15 already today. I'm not showing you all of them because gosh, it gets dull, eh? But lots and lots of buttons. Cool, that's a big one. Big old musket ball. Look at that. That looks unfired. Nice and round. Lovely old job. I don't know if you can see Steve. Just over there. He's just arrived. He'll probably find a hammered straight away after I put in about five hours. Right. Lovely old job. On to the next. Just had a teeny wee coin come up. Can you tell what it is? It's a pre-decimal half penny. Pretty much scrubbed. Queenie's on there. Good day to your mom. Get well soon and all that. I know she's quite rough with the COVID right now. Yeah, that's another coin. Lovely old job. Where's the flipping hammers at? Well, two holes, two coins. Well, we're on to a flipping hoard. Oh, the clouds are coming over as well. What have we got here? Looks a bit more green this time. Mm, it's claggy. Right, let's clean her up. I'm going the wrong way with these denominations. 
Uh, but good day to you, sir. It's another Georgie. Gotta collect the whole set today, isn't it? Apart from the silver ones. There's um, a Georgie farthing. Yeah, a little bit of corrosion, but you can see the writing's quite nice on there. Uh, 1920, oh God, my eyes, 24? So I've had a farthing, a half penny, and a full penny of Georgie. Well, I can only go into the silvers now, surely. Did he have any brass? No, he didn't have any brass ones, did he? So threepence. Come on, threepence in silver. Well, at long last, I think I've got a hammered. It's not looking complete though, to be fair. It almost looks like a, a cut quarter of a much larger one. Yeah, it's a bit odd. It's, it's obviously battered, isn't it? I can't flip it over. Definitely silver hammered. Right, let's clean it up and see if I can get an ID on it. Well, it's an odd one. I just don't know what to say about it, really. I feel like it might be a Charles or a Scottish James, or sorry, an Irish James or something. It's a bit odd. Um, there is a shield or partial shield on the back there. I'm struggling to get in this light today. Yeah, how bizarre, totally knackered. Mm. If you know guys, please do shout up in the comments. It's a shame because it's not clipped or anything, it's just absolutely ravished. Right, well look, anyway that's some silver for me today and I'm going to class it as hammered. So for me, that is hammered number three of the year. A little conflab with Steve. We're going to head to another field, but I've uh, just picked out a all right fancy little button here. Look at that! It's all silvered. Little detail around the edge. I thought it might have been a stone in the middle to begin with, but um, I think it's just just worn off around there. A lovely little thing. Yeah. Oh, it's got all dark. Might rain soon. I was going to dig this, and I saw it popping out on the surface. Got here. Look at that. It's a nice funky bit of buckle, isn't it? Oh dear. Yeah, it's nice that is. Oh yeah, the rain's coming. I think you can see about all you're gonna see on that one, but yeah, that's a nice bit of buckle. Oh man, I'm gonna get soaked now. Me and Steve did change fields. It's come over, it's a little bit of sort of rotten down stubble. I came here, um, I don't know if, yeah, it would have been, I suppose, late last year and found a silver willy, I think, just about over that way. Um, the rain keeps coming in, the wind, let me get out of the wind. <laughs> the wind ain't getting any easier either. But uh, we've got about an hour or so left of daylight. So uh, let's see what comes from that. I'm excited. <laughs> I, am, I like this field. It's got a good feeling about it, and the rain has made sure all the, t the signals are just popping straight out of the ground. So it's uh, it's been a lot of digging going on. I've had a couple more buttons as well. Nice. We got Steve. Just in the hill. In the hill. We haven't come far from the car, have we? What is that? Looking green. Looking tiny and green. Oh, it looks like a little rivety thing. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well, it's around in the ground. Yeah, oh, it is that. Yeah. Yeah. Tarpaulin River. Bugger. Bugger. This is rank, isn't it? Very. It's actually hailing now. We're under the only tree we could find. Yeah. In the whole field. In the whole dag field. <laughs> Check it out. Big old field. And that's it. We get a shower every few minutes, and it's quite quite a messy shower. But that one had hail in it. <laughs> Getting it bailed. <laughs> oh, Steve, you haven't had much, have you? Some lead? No, it's bits of lead. Bits that's of lead. Easy, easy. Yeah, um, we haven't got a lot of uh, light left by looks. What do you reckon? Half hour, hour? Yeah, about half hour, I reckon. Yeah, so um, we've probably got time to very slowly get back to the car. Yeah, black. It's black, is it? Oh black no. Hail coming again. Yeah, so we'll head back to the car and fingers crossed we find our best finds on the way there. Hopefully. Be very nice. Man of little words. 
got an eager beaver sunbathing in the rain. What is it? Button? Coin? What do you think? Yeah, it's a coin. It's a spanked coin is what it is. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to get much off that in this... Oh, I don't know, there might be a little... Oh, go on. Let's give it a go. Quick clean up. No, wishful thinking. I'm going to say a Georgie half, pe half penny. Wait. Get it back. Yeah, Georgie half penny. Nothing more you can really say about that. Darn it. <laughs> Burned out like a wandering ember. I shone bright, then my journey was over. What I sought when I ran was back where I began. No matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Leave open the gate, don't turn off the light, I'm coming on. I gained all that I knew for a price In the end, what I found Was nowhere near as nice No matter the rain No matter the storm I'm coming home I'm coming home Leave open the gate Don't turn off the light Coming home. Though I fought with my claws and teeth, though I elbowed my way to a seat, there'd be no kind of peace like you beside me, no matter. 